Here's the tutorial on bowing for reels, or at least reels in the style that I play. It's a real simple little little idea. Um, I, I kind of discovered it by accident. Uh, I do a lot of triple up bows when I when I bow reels, and when I took a look at it, I realized that they were always happening in the same spot and the same types of note patterns all the time. So um, when I when I kind of picked it apart a little bit, I realized that, um, and you will see this in, in some of the tunes that I've, that I've taught on here, I've transcribed with the bowings and you can see physically, you know, you have it in front of you, you can see where I'm talking about. But basically in a nutshell, if you have a group of eight notes in a reel, any eight notes in a row, um, it doesn't matter if they're within a measure or if they cross a bar line, really doesn't matter. Um, but if the fourth, fifth, and sixth notes of that group of eight are on the same string, put an up bow slur. So assuming that you're starting the first one on a down bow, of course, if your bow lands on a down, you would be playing the first note down, then the next one up, then down. Then the next three, those are the four, five, and six, would go on an up bow if they're on the same string. And then you'd come out of that just with a down and then an up bow. So that's for the remaining two of the eight notes. So for an example, um, I'm going to use Big John McNeil. I've taught Big John McNeil on here. And as I said, in the sheet music, you can see this in the transcription. Um, so I'm going to take it right from the start. We have it happening right close to the beginning. Um, so we play the... Now this part, we play... Let's, let's count the eight notes starting with the... So that's eight notes in a row right there. We're playing four on D, one, three on G. Now here's the fourth, fifth, and sixth notes. We're playing one, two, and one on D. And then back to three on G and one on D. So this works really well to do that triple up bow. Okay, so when you're going faster, if you're going it sounds a, quite mechanical and a lot of times people can't get going up to speed for a tune I, I get a lot of students that come and say you know I can learn how to play reels but I hit a wall once I learn them I can't speed them up and nine times out of ten it's because of the bowing so if you were just to go through your sheet music collection and look for those triple up bows those fourth fifth and sixth notes and again if they're on the same string just marking an up bow slur I bet things would change for you so another example is devil's dream I didn't teach this on here but um, it happens a lot in devil's dream so what happens look at here one two three four five six one two three four five six Okay, it happens a lot. Now you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it all the time because it it does happen right at the beginning of that. That's a little too soon. We're not we're not hitting a point where we need to to you know get some more bow out of the way so we can keep going faster at that point. So I would you know pick and choose which ones you want to do. Um, probably middle to each little group of four bars is a good place to start. I wouldn't do it right at the beginning. Um, and and I think you'll notice a huge difference. Now in Big John, the other thing that we did was a, just a, that, that's one of those bowings that you wanna use to set up something happening. So we wanna make sure that the next measure starts on a down bow. So if we just did it like this, See, as soon as I don't slur in there, it feels like something's wrong. It feels like I'm going against the grain. It just seems natural to slur those two notes. There's your four, five, six. And then we have it again.
okay? So it goes all the way through that tune like that. And I think this, like I said, I think this will open up a whole new world for you in uh, being able to speed up some reels finally after years of, you know, playing at half speed or just kind of fumbling up when you're busy going down, up, down, up all the time. So I think this will uh, make you real happy, real happy. Thank <laughs> you.